and Rachel. Yes, those are all examples of proper nouns. Um, states, excellent. English is a language, so that's actually a proper noun too, because languages are capitalized. Months, um, months yes, months are examples. Yeah. Um, yeah, like book titles, movie titles, things like that, when they have that capitalization. Um, Ashley. Some people capitalize the word earth, but they don't capitalize the word. I think, actually, that's a really good point. I think that's because Earth is sort of the name of our planet, like, you know, Mars or Venus or Jupiter, which are all proper nouns. So I think that's why Earth is capitalized, but when you're talking about the world, um, world isn't the specific name of our planet, because you could say, you would call Mars a world if there were things living on it, if that makes sense. So it's not, so Earth is like the actual name of our planet, so that's why people capitalize it. But that's a good point, so planet names, you know, you know, like, Jupiter, and we said, you know, months, anything that's capitalized is the proper noun. Yes? Like Rodinia or Pangea. What's that? Like Rodinia or Pangea. Is that Pangea? Is, oh, Pangea, is not is that like that yeah, super, the super countries? Yeah. Yeah. Um, science and geography and all that was never my strong point, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But yeah, Pangea, I don't know that first one. Pangea wouldn't be capitalized. Is that the first conglomerate of yes. land masses? Yeah, those would be capitalized too. Excellent. Okay. So do you have this all written down? We're good on that? Excellent. Okay. And Jen, if you could pick your head up, please. I promise you things will get more exciting in a minute. We just have to get through this really quickly. So after nouns, we'll put this as the second part of speech. We have adjectives. Yeah. So what is an adjective? What was that, Lauren? Excellent. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. And this part of the definition is important. It's not just, you can't just think of it as a describing word because there are other types of words that describe things. So adjectives always describe nouns. And, uh, what are some examples of adjectives? You can just throw some out there. Lauren. Pretty. Very good. What else? Shout them out. Tall. Fat. <laughs> Anything else? Short, yep, like tall, what did you say? Yellow, Yellow. excellent, some colors. <laughs> yeah, anything like that are um, adjectives, emotions, so like happy, sad, anything like that are all adjectives. Okay, I'll give you a second to finish writing that down. Good. And then, last but not least, we have verbs. What is a verb? Action. 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 Action word. Very good. And actually, I'm going to add um, something else to that definition, too. So a verb is a word that definitely expresses action. that expresses action, as Ashley said, or it expresses a state of being. And I'll explain that in just a second. We have two different kind of verbs. 
Does anyone know what the kind of herbs are? One of them? Kilo? Um, not an adverb, it's something a little different. It's actually sort of like an adjective, but it describes a verb. We'll go into that later. Jen. Linking verb. Excellent. We have linking verbs. So those would be like, is, um, were, am, was, and these are those verbs that express a state of being. So what I mean by that is like if I had the sentence, bless you, if I had the sentence, I am happy, am isn't really like an action verb, it's not really like am, you, know, you can't do am, like there's not like, it's not something that you can do. So this just connects I and happy, it just shows that you are happy. So that's why it's a linking verb. It's not something you can do, it just kind of shows how you're feeling. And so with that being said, then the other type of verbs are action verbs. And so that's just any other kind of verb. So throw some verbs out there. Run. Run, get jump. Skip. Kick. Um, learn, teach, write, scribble, doodle, clean, any of those kind of words. Those are all action verbs. Okay. Are there any questions on any of this? Yeah, I know for most of you this is like a really simple review, but I just want to make sure we all know this because when we do do the vocab test, we ask for parts of speech. So we want to make sure we're all on the same page here. We all know what we're looking for. Okay, so you have this written down? Good. Now to the fun part. No more writing? Um, nope, no more writing. Um, so we're going to do like a grammar review game. But my question for you is, I'll give you the choice. Do you want to do it as a class? Or do you want to do it um, in teams? Teams. Teams. This side. Yeah, this side. Yeah. This side. Okay, so we'll do it this side against that side. Yeah. yeah. So while I uh, set up a smart board, guys, while I set up a smart board and get this going, if you want to quietly come up with maybe like a team meeting. Team meeting.
competitive spirit going. So I'm going to have you work with your rows. You're going to work in groups. So actually, uh, yeah, if you guys want to combine the forms. Yeah. So we have, how many groups is that? We have six groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the bow covers. I have them all cut up. I have the bow covers cut up. So I'm going to give each group a set of vocab words, and what you have to do is sort them and decide what category they belong in. Are they nouns? Are they verbs? Are they adjectives? Oh. And, yeah, not too confusing. Not too confusing. What? Just for fun. I'm not, you're not getting graded on it. I'll time you, though. I'll time you. I can do that. Okay, so your categories are noun, verb, or adjective, and I also have a category of multiple. Do you know what it means by multiple? It'll be multiple one. different. Yes. So if a word is a, it could be a noun or a verb, you're going to put it under the multiple category. Don't put it under noun or verb. You're going to put it under multiple. You cannot use your books, but I do have the definitions printed out for you. Because the books have the parts of speech in it, so that wouldn't be like much of a challenge if it had the part of speech in the book already. So that's why I have them printed out for you. So each group will get a list of vocab words. What? Um, actually, no, I'll just do it. You're not writing it. I have it all cut out for you. So you each get a group of categories. So if you want to just, I want to your desk, so if you want to just lay the categories out. So I will give you the words, and so what you're going to do is, as fast as you can, I want you to try to sort the words into the right categories. And whoever does it first also gets the same pride of knowing that they are awesome at knowing words. Whoa, I need to get more Jolly Ranchers again. Yeah, I need to be Jolly Ranchers I'll work on that. Okay. Do not unpaper clip these until everyone has them. So far away, we'll get to Just like And make sure you do not lose the paper clips or the little pieces of paper. Would it also help if I put the words on the board in like sentences? Sentences? Would that help though? Do we make it too easy? Okay. So we'll just stick with the definition. Okay. So. Okay. Just make sure you hold on to the paper clips and the pieces of paper. And if you are ready, then go. Wait. Okay. You like messing me up? Twice. So, um, so what we'll just put them under the right category. Well, 
Multiple was if like a word can be a noun or a verb. So what? Yeah. So it was not a verb I had you printed a multiple, but I forgot I gave you printed out two of each word. So let's see what you have over here. We have a team who finished over here. Let's take a look and see what you have. Thank you. 
here, right? Oh, that looks good. You go up here. Yeah. No. Okay, and for those of you who are done, get your paper cut.